Guys, we are so close to our Cat Lady Girl on Patreon. Consider pledging to help us unlock it. We are so close to unlocking it. I'm really excited. Hopefully we can do it. We've got like just over 10 days to the end of the month, 12 days. Hopefully we will hit that non goal. Big shout out to all our patrons and our producer Alice for making these videos possible. Alice, you are a super numpkin as always. Her links are on screen right now. Here is another Animal Crossing horror. I quite like this one. Check it out. The sheer number of people who have let me down in my life is nothing short of incredible. What I ask from people is so trivial, yet I'm still let down. Just last week I asked my parents for a new Corvette. Instead they gave me a dumb Porsche. It wasn't even the right colour. Wow. What a hard- which is so hard done by. Then I asked my professor for a passing grade in his class. He said I had to work for it. The ghoul of that man. Who works for what they have? The final straw came when I asked my now ex-boyfriend for a new iPhone. You know what I got instead? This dumb gaming system with this stupid game. It's a super cute game, you know. Try it out and you'll love it, he said. Well, now he's trying out being single. Arsehole. Seriously, you caught this late at night? Probably my idiot ex calling to beg for forgiveness. How do I answer this dumb thing again? The stupid phone won't stop ringing. Come on, I'm seriously just trying to sleep right now. You're right, bud. This is finally a relatable heroine. Hello, Abby. This is Nook. I'm hoping we could discuss something. Are you kidding me with this raccoon? Do you need something? My apologies for calling at this hour, but it seems I forgot to give you something earlier today. Now you're speaking my language because I just adore free stuff. Is it a new house or maybe a bigger island? As you know, I gave you a tent, a lamp, and that premium blue cot. It's just made with the finest stitching in the Northern Hemisphere. But, did he really just call this cot premium? So I need you to come down to residential services for your itemized bill. You have all the time you need to pay it off, so come at your leisure. But come now. You're charging me for the garbage, you trash panda? Excuse me, Abby. There is no foul language allowed on this island. Please stop by when you can. Goodbye. The little shit just hung up on me. That little shit of a raccoon hung up on me! All I want is an easy life in a million dollar mansion with a maid in the pool lined with gold. Life can be so depressing. Alright, oh my god. Here's Abby, our relatable heroine. There's only two things I love in this world, money and clothes. Why am I even playing this game? The lantern gives off a warm light. The dumb raccoon gave me this to start off with. I can't believe I'm in a dingy old tent sleeping on a cot. Let's look around the island. The night air feels so good in Didaro. Did you hear about the new book that's taking the island by storm? It's a book about flexing. All my rivals are talking about it. I'm going to find the book and be the ultimate beef bus. I heard Nick has it. He said something about loads of money in Didaro. Harry, what's cooking? I saw Nook and a new visitor. I heard that found a new book that can make lots of money. Doyoing! I just can't wait to see them improve the island more. You okay, Coco? Coco's fine. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Nook. Hello, Abby. How are you tonight? Phenomenal. Can you give me the dumb bill so I can go back to bed? Course. I gave you a very discounted price. I only give that to my favourite villagers who've proven their love for the islands I create. Does this bill say one... Is that billion bells? I don't know. It's a lot. It's more than a million. It does. I gave you a 0.005% discount for doing all the hard work. I really just sat there and let you build the island from nothing. Maybe I should give you a better discount. I'm usually for capitalism when I'm on the winning side. I swear to God, Nook, I'm gonna find the sharpest axe in the game and... Why is Garfield here? Oh, hello everyone. I don't mean to interrupt, but I'd like to introduce myself to Abby. You're right, I forgot to introduce you to. This is Gorkat, our new neighbor. Gorkat? Who the hell named you that? Oh, my owner did. He thought I was spinning as he found me injured in the pile of trash before he stitched me up and gave me some catnip. Unfortunately, it turned out I was allergic to catnip and I almost died. After bleeding over him for what seemed like hours, he was a 
Cool story. Okay, well, screw you guys, especially you, Nook. I'm going back. Wait, would you like to work off your bill? It's a simple favor and I can eliminate your bill. Can the favor wait until I actually see where I'm walking? It's the middle of the night and I've had a rough day. This game is called Two New Horizons. Well, what did you, the day entail, Abby? Lots of day drinking and hanging out by the pool. Very stressful stuff. You wouldn't get it. Well, this is a one-time offer. Only available for the next five minutes. Do you accept? Come on, Abby. Accept it. It's only a simple favor. Fine. And only because I think the cat is cute. Tell me what to do before I change my mind. I knew you're such a smart business lady like you would accept. Take these two gifts to Dom and Coco. Simple as that. Is it really that simple? Absolutely. Okay, give me the gifts and I'll be right back. Alright. I'm assuming something terrible is going to happen to them. A gift for me? I forgot what voice I did for you earlier, so fuck it. It smells like Italian food. Maybe lasagna. Well, I will treasure this forever and ever. Thank you. Doing. <laughs> Wait, this is the gift? Thank you so much. It's very heavy and it jiggles. I bet it's my favorite jello. Wait, this is from Nook? How nice. He never gives anyone gifts. I'm so excited I'm going to flex all night. Indeed, -er -er. All right, we did. We, we we worked off our debt, guys. All right. The task you need to do in the middle of the night is done. What was in those gifts to begin with that needed so eagerly delivered? Thank you, Abby. Please go to bed. Wait, you said you'd erase my debt and tell me what's in the gifts. As I will. Your debt is erased. Okay, I guess I head to my tent then. I really don't care what's in the gifts anyway. Asshole. What an obnoxious raccoon. You guys glad I'm finally playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, by the way. Maybe in my dreams I'll get everything I want. Like a hotel chain with my name on it. What? What the hell was that? That was Tom Nook climaxing, I can tell you that now. It sounds like some type of animal, but like, not the family friendly type of animal. Like, a filthy raccoon! Um, look at the back of the tent. Wait, what the hell is going on? Why is it so red? Why are they standing outside my tent? Where am I? Okay, there's a lot of jam. Uh, Dom, what happened to you? You spend most of your days dreaming of a reality that will never come to fruition. I will absorb these thoughts. I will be your salvation. You're scaring me. Material goods and happiness, are they all not expendable to you? You'll never be happy. You will never have anything. S -s -s stop saying that. We will absorb your sin. Together we can stop the suffering. We can start the great purge together. Indeed, Oro. I... I... Um, Coco, what happened to your neck? I have been filled with the scourge of you humans. I will continue to bloat under your ignorance until I decay into a rotting conglomerate of sin and consumption. What are you talking about? We need to get you some help. You spend and spend and spend until you're full. You surround your life with trinkets and toys and condemn the world to cater to your precipitous needs. I just like being superficial. How is that wrong? Who are you to fucking judge me? It's okay. Everything will be over soon. Everyone will be purged. The humanity will be one. Our Lord has spoken. And humans cannot be trusted with their freedom any longer. Please, I'm really scared, Coco. Let me go home. None of this makes sense. There will be no more home. What's going on? Abby, please come over to residential services for your orientation. Orientation? Oh, wow. Residential services are not great as well. Nook, not you too. Do you not want all the riches in the world? Do you not want to live as you've always dreamed? 
No, I just want to leave. I get it. You want me to cherish what I have. You want me to value myself for something other than my superficial belongings. I'm begging you, Nook. I know deep down you don't want me to do this. There is no lesson to get learned here, Abby. You are to be purged, John, from this world. Like every other creature that roams this miserable plane of existence. We've done this multiple times. The multiple islands. Those islands you visited for resources are made from the catnip corpses of those who have lost their way. I'm sorry, Nick. I hope your two spawns of kids are okay. Even though they don't give me free stuff. Hush, my dear Abby. The purge is starting! Get, get off me! Stop! Don't touch me! What a delicious treat you have bought me. Fruit growing in just three days, fossils every day, and trees that grew bells. The soil was fertilized with the corpses of your Gulliver kind. Did you think it was mere magic? Even in death, humans tried to produce. Thank you, it's an idea. How? Oh, my head. Can I taste marinara sauce with mint? Our Lord has requested you be restrained with his favorite meal. His weakness finds the taste of humans below average, so he prefers you to be partially wrapped in lasagna. I'm gonna die in lasagna bondage. Who thought of this? I shall leave you to be. You will soon be one spit with the world. Welcome, Abby. Are you comfortable? Oh, what's that? Cat got your tongue? Dear Abby, I have tasted both your dreams and nightmares since this island began. They were delicious, but only a mere morsel to stimulate my appetite. I shall slowly devour you cell by cell. I want to make sure every fiber of your being feels its destruction. You must be fully purged of all sanity. You begged for mercy before, did you not? You blamed materialism for your problems. You blamed your boyfriend. You blamed your father. You blamed society. There should be no more begging. Every day you woke up. And every day you were unsatisfied. You worked hard once and failed. So you blamed everyone else for your shortcomings. Abhorrent thoughts would bombard your mind, keeping you awake at night. And so, you turned this game on. Do you regret that? What will your life be like in a year? Ten years? Would you still be living your pathetic existence? Would you settle further into this degenerate routine of the bare minimum? All for the measly dollar. Such a one-track mind, such a pathetic mind, a wasted mind that could be filled with joy, family. Love has been washed over you. Why is Abby saying this? I think this is meant to be Gorefield still. And this is how you turn out. Yet you're given more money still. But that sense of emptiness overtakes you. A loving family dotes after your every need, but still that void cannot be filled. You were given every opportunity to succeed, yet you flood this world with hatred, apathy, and filth. I will allow you one chance for your final words. What would you like to say? You're just a scared little cat, afraid of anyone's lifestyle you don't approve of. I'm a self-centered bitch, get over it. And if I ever see you again, in this life or the next, I'll fucking slaughter you. Whoa, Abby is fucking stepping up here. Such strong words for such a tiny meal. Now allow me to purge you of everything. Allow me to free your soul. There will be no more emptiness. Only lasagna. I'm sorry, Abby. Holy shit! That's it. <laughs> That's it! You were devoured by Gorefield. And the world ends. You become the lasagna. I mean, in the end, aren't we all lasagna, guys? Also, while I'm streaming this and recording it at the same time for YouTube, I would just like to ask, my pronunciation of lasagna apparently really annoys a lot of you, and, um, you know, I, uh, I'm very sorry 